Hi, Lisa here, your young ambassador at Live Yummy. I don't feel like much of a young ambassador right now, but I promised that I would um, videotape this juice fast, and so I'm doing it. Um, first of all, I look like this because I'm covered in poison ivy. It's on both my eyelids and my neck and my face and both my hands and my arms and some on my legs. And so, you know, I've got that going for me. So, um... I don't normally look like a, what is that dog with the droopy everything? Anyway, basset hound or whatever, but <laughs> there it is, just to add to the fun. Um, today is the end of day two of the Juice Fast, and I'm hiding out in the bathroom. I don't know why, I just feel like hiding out in the bathroom. So, um, um, the Juice Fast has been going really well. I, um, I've had nothing but juice for two days, um, and have taken a walk each day. I have gotten a lot, I got a lot of sleep last night. I've drank a lot of water, all the things I promised myself I would do. And, um, <clears throat> the juice has been really good and it's, I can tell it's really good for me. My system has done, you know, it's share of cleaning house, which is part of the point. Um, and, um, but the side effects of a juice fast, I don't know if you've ever done one, but um, last night and now again tonight, I, I get a headache um, and I'm not sure, you know, I guess people would say it's just the detoxifying, but also I have to make sure to drink enough water because it's easy to get dehydrated if I don't drink enough. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I've taken pictures of the juices and put them on Instagram. My Instagram is live yummy now. <clears throat> Sorry, this is that COPD cough that I don't want to say the word of. Um, uh, my Instagram is live yummy now. And um, I put up um, pictures of the before and the after, usually a bowl of the vegetables and then um, the finished juice. And it's been delicious and beautiful and inspiring and I've felt really great. Um, it's about 7.30, I think, and I'm really tired. And um, I'm working my two jobs remotely now, um, one 30 hours and one about eight or 10 hours a week. And I'm working them both remotely from home and, um, and doing a juice fast and dealing with this cough, <coughs> excuse me, that is not COVID-19, at least. I mean, I've never been tested, but it's the only symptom I have. I don't have fever or dry pain or any of that. But I've been doing all of that at home, and I am it's it's just early evening, and I'm really exhausted. So I went to bed about 9 o'clock last night, and I think I'll do the same tonight, if not sooner. Um, the more sleep I get, the more my body can heal. I don't know if you find that, but I find that... When I'm sick, sleeping just shuts all the activities down and my body can do all its house cleaning and housekeeping and stuff. And I, I really, I really notice a difference when I get like m what I would think of as more than enough sleep. Um, when my body's ready to wake up, I'll wake up. Um, so I slept, I went to bed at nine last night and I, I think I woke up at about 5.30 this morning, but I stayed in bed till 7.30 trying to go back to sleep and just drowsing around um, just to rest. It's not easy for me to do. I don't want to rest. I have stuff I want to do in this world and I want to get up and do it all. But I'm, I'm, I'm not only tired, I'm, um, I'm like mentally kind of foggy compared to my usual self. I'm usually kind of one of those, you know, um, go get them girls, but I'm, it's just sort of a vague, slight headache right now. And I just have this mental fog. And the thing is, I know this lifts, I've always had this lift when I've done a juice fast. I did one up to 15 days one time. I felt like by really by day three or four, I usually feel clear as a bell. So I'm sticking with it. Um, what I had for, let's see, I think it was breakfast and breakfast was grapefruit, lime, um, ginger, and parsley. I love parsley. It has lots of vitamin A and C in it. So um, I'm having parsley in all the juice I make. Then around lunchtime, um, I made one, uh, I don't remember exactly, but it was some, whole, you know, mostly vegetables. It was celery and kale and, um, 
Let, um, lettuce. I usually put a lot of lettuce in and cucumber. I always like having cucumber in. It cuts the acidity of the juice and adds uh, more, a lot more liquid with a very mild taste. So you don't really taste like you're drinking cucumber juice, but it, 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 it stretches out the juice. Um, and, uh, I don't know, it has a nice mild taste. I really like it. Um, and then tonight I made a purple juice. The pictures are really pretty on Instagram. Uh, started out with red cabbage, but then again, some of the same vegetables, um, celery and parsley and, um, uh, lime and some other stuff. I don't remember. That's what I mean about the foggy thing, but I documented all of it on Instagram. Um, I have found it hard to stick to this only when at the end of the night when I'm tired and I have no defenses left, like mentally and emotionally. So, um, I, I have felt, um, all day today, kind of, um, shaky, like, um, not queasy really, but just shaky. It's what happens every time I've done juice for more than, you know, a few servings at a time. So, um, I think the body's process of doing its thing here and absorbing all this nutrient, it's probably a shock to the system, but also my body's eliminating a lot of stuff with this. So, I don't know. I don't mean to sound like some new agey person or whatever. Um, I mean, I guess I am half business person and half hippie, but, um, <laughs> you know, I, I, I've been through this before, so I know this stage and what helped me a lot last night was my sister asked me about it over the phone and I was telling her not only about my own experience, but about Joe Cross with fat, sick and nearly dead. It's a great movie if you haven't seen it yet. And, um, you know, his, I really want to kind of go lay in bed and watch that tonight because it's really inspiring to remind myself that I'm not some crazy person doing this just because I'm the only one in my household right now. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this based on really great examples that I've watched for years and I have had myself. I've had great examples myself, but at the end of the night, you know, you start to forget like that, that anything you're doing makes any sense. Um, and I do want to say and just in complete transparency, I was feeling shaky a lot of the day. And then tonight after my bath, I felt shaky again. And I, um, I decided to go out and I had like four little bites of steamed broccoli that I had made for my husband for his, with his dinner. So I, um, I had four bites of whole broccoli, not because you don't, you know, I got juice broccoli. Um, and, and that really just did help to stabilize me a little here, just having something in my tummy. And it's not a lot. It was a little, and I don't care about the concept of cheating or any of that. Like I'm doing just the absolute best thing I can for my body right now. So, um, I, I hope that wherever you are, whoever you are, that you're holding up to this pandemic right now and that whatever you can do for your good health even if it's hard, even if it's challenging, even if it's scary, even if you feel like alone with it, please keep at it. Whatever is the best thing for you, you know, you know your body better than anyone. And, um, you know, check things out with friends as, you know, I'll do sometimes, but I don't go to the hardware store for bread. Like I ask people who know about juice fasting, <laughs> questions about juice fasting. I don't, you know, just ask random people in my life for advice on that. But, um, you know, check things out with people. Don't be alone. Connect with people. Like I, I definitely connected with some friends today and tonight and, um, <clears throat> and I drank plenty of water and I got plenty of sleep and I got out for my walk. And so, you know, whatever you can do for yourself, please do it because you matter to people. And, um, I, I just really want to urge you, you matter to yourself too. You know, you're, you're worthwhile. So, please do what you can to keep yourself in the best health possible. If you have any questions that I can answer, I'm happy to do it. You know, um, just add a question below and I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'm no expert here. I'm just, I'm just stumbling along like anybody else, but doing the best I can. And it's great to be here with you. Good night.